Hi, Sarah. How you doing? All right. I was just going through your writing. I hope I did this correctly. I don't know anything about cars, so I had a lot of research, but now being done, I forgot I could ask my husband. I, I think the, the former is a better solution here. And the reason I say that is because as a designer, you're quite often going to be um, handed assignments that possibly could be out of your comfort zone in terms of, of your knowledge base. So design is very, very much about research. And I can tell you with 100% certainty, well, I can speak for myself, I don't ever get a, a, a design project that I don't 100% research it. Neither does my, my team, my designers don't either. So anytime, if I have a, a studio designer working on a project with me, or if I have a, um, a, an intern, or even if I'm collaborating with another designer, um, the project, first thing I re require everyone to do is get that research done. Know as much about your topic as you possibly can before starting the design process. And I think that's an intuitive way to approach design. So at any rate, um, let's go ahead and jump over to your compositions. Then. Now we have a few issues here with, with hierarchy and I'll talk about all of this stuff. Um, let me just reduce that a little bit. Okay, so the first thing I see is that, well, let me just reduce this down a little bit more. So you've got these white um, bars on the side of the composition. So this composition is required to be 15 by 20 with five by five um, four or five by five fields for your compositions with one inch space in between. So it looks like you're set up pretty well, but don't forget that should be a black background right there. So you want to draw a stat for your um, final submission. This next thing I notice is, but I'm not a car head by any stretch at all, but I think this is Lamont, L-E. I think it's Pontiac Lamont, L-E-M-A-N-S. Okay, so we, we see in the first um, iteration, well, first of all, as we take a look again, we take a look at an overview of, of the whole thing, and we see that this is a color image, and it's cropped, but it's not bleeding. I, I, you're not bleeding off the page. So this is required to bleed off the page in at least two areas. And the bleeding means that it extends beyond the um, boundaries of the page. I'll show you an example right here. See how it's bleeding there and it's bleeding there. So that's bleeding off the page in two different areas where it doesn't look like yours is. Also, the assignment is required to be submitted in grayscale, which is black and white. So you want to uh, do an a, a adjustment layer on that to convert it to black and white on the card. Okay, first composition, there's no contrasts in, in um, size or weight, meaning that all hierarchy is based on grouping. But we see that that's not the case here because this title area has a different size and a different weight. So all the four uh, typographic selections here should be identical. And the only, so this should be presented in this typeface, this size and this scale, right? Um, and this weight and place right here. But what you could do is increase a little bit. Like right now you've got good hierarchy here because you're telling the viewer this is the most important thing. This is the subject and these have to do with the subject. You can achieve the same thing with the same weight, same um, uh, scale by just reducing this, setting it in this typeface and placing it with a little space between exactly where it's at, but at a smaller size. That would establish good hierarchy. In the second design, we want one new size and one new weight. Now you've got that here, but the only problem that I'm seeing here is where, we, we, actually this is, this is pretty good. You've got the new size and new weight all kind of covered in one um, typographic maneuver here, and that is increasing the size and adding a bold to that. So this actually has pretty good hierarchy with not one two, new size, one new weight. I think this has better alignment. So technically, if you were to take this layout and do, as I said, uh, set the, the a title to this and align it to the left, what you could do is take this exact same setup and then just increase this size like it is here. So this could be number two with a new size and a new weight with the rest of it being um, equal. I think it's a better layout because it has better alignment. So think about my comments in the first and then think about taking this example and replacing the second example with this example. Okay, now in the third design, we want multiple contrasts in weight and scale, but we don't have any here. We have, basically we have the exact same composition as up here. Okay, there are no, you have one new weight and one new scale, but not multiples. You want multiples in here. So you definitely want to think about applying um, more typographic styles here to indicate multiple uh, changes in weight and scale, multiple contrasts in weight and scale. We can see that right here, where we have this is a, a different size and scale, so is this, so is this, 
and then so are these. So these are multiples. Okay, and this, this example is seen in the Welcome to Week 3 announcement at the bottom of the page, so be sure to review that. I want to talk about Welcome to three, Week 3 announcement a little bit further in one second, but let's go back to the layout. Now, in the fourth design, we want, again, multiple contrasts in weight and scale, which we don't have. These four are the same. There's only one new size, one new weight, one new scale, again, introduced right here. So you want multiples there. Now, don't forget you've got the, the other issues associated with the black and white and the, the cropped car and the bleeding on two page, two edges of the page. All right, now, the, the really great thing at this point is that there are two resources available in the class that show you exactly how to accomplish um, hierarchy based on weight scale and alignment. The first one is in the course lecture. It is in week three presentation structure and space. It's about halfway down the page, right after the resume. You want to take a look at this entire lecture, but this part right here, this where it says modern Hispanic poetry, these examples are from the book. Now in my edition of the book, I have edition six. I believe you have edition seven. My edition is on page 101. Yours, I'm not positive if it is, but you want to check around page 101. But specifically, you're looking for the, the subsection called visual hierarchy. Um, in the book, and uh, you can see there's examples. There's nine examples on the page in the book, but only six made it to the class, so there's three other examples. Definitely take a look at that. It shows you exactly how to go through this process. Then there's another example in the course announcements. Welcome to week three, right about, again, halfway down the page, right here where it says type study typographic hierarchy. And, and this example here is the best. It's the best I've ever seen. It shows how to establish hierarchy based on a contrast of uh, variations in weight, typographic weight, typographic scale, alignment, placement, proximity, and in this case, color as well. We get into color down here. So uh, go through this a couple of times and go through that other presentation a couple of times, that page 101 in the book, and you will have a whole new way of coming about this. Be sure to review the comments in this video and apply all of that into your final iteration. I promise you this is going to make so much more sense once you start really, really visiting, the, um, studying these visual examples and um, and uh, I'm thinking about you know considering my comments in the video. I think a lot of this will make great sense to you. Okay, um, that's all I have. So uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Sarah, if you have any questions, comments, concerns whatsoever, please don't hesitate to let me know. I'll be glad to provide any clarifications needed. All right, great start. Thank you so much for sharing.